My name is Woody White, and I live in uh, Little Rock, Arkansas. Uh, is it permissible to ask some questions since I haven't seen any printed budget information? Hmm. Well, uh, we, we've got a budget here, which we've had, went through it tonight, but a couple Do you questions. have a budget online that we can review? We have some budget proposals, I think, that are online. We don't have a budget yet. I mean, that's what we're well, doing here tonight. I thought that's what you were doing here tonight. It yeah. just seems inappropriate to be voting for something that the people in the county have not had an opportunity to do. We've had public hearings for six months. Where is it printed? Well, not all of us can even get in the print. Well, it'll be printed as soon as we pass it. Well, that's, a, that's like Nancy Pelosi said, you're going to love the health care bill. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> well, yeah, we're not going to get paid. If you've got some questions, I'll try to answer them. All right, let's get. go for the question. What's the status of the self-insurance trust fund? It's solid. It's got about two million. Well, come on, Hutch, you can get up here. But well, it's solid, about two or three million in reserve. Okay, do they look at it every year by Yes, sir. Year? Yes, sir. Okay, does that include IBNR? What's IBNR? I don't Herb know. Herb and not reported. Things like, Mr. Wilkerson is complaining. Yeah, they, we get a full review every year. And we are more fortunate than most folks who have paid for our health insurance. Our self-insurance has saved this community tons of money and provided good coverage. Your self-insurance fund is overfunded by $2 million. No, it's not overfunded. All you got to do is get one. No, we've got a reserve. We've had people with catastrophic... We've reserve, but overfunded. By law, you've got to keep the reserve in the self-insurance That's right. By how long? It depends on the size of your phone. Okay. We are at that reserve. That's right. Okay. All right. I don't understand why the, why the raises are being proposed at the same time that you're asking people to look at a budget. Because how can you possibly know as the people what impact those potential increases in salary have, <coughs> not knowing what the total amount of the budget is prior to Well, we, we, we were very public in telling people these body, this body that... I, I, I take yeah. exception to Well, okay. take exception. Because I have, I've looked online for a budget. Okay. Okay, go ahead. All right, do all county employees have job description? Yes. Okay, are they evaluated annually? Do they yes. have annual evaluation? Yes. Yeah, are they asked to set goals for their job description and their department. In most departments, yes. I can't I can't speak for all of them because I'm only only over part of them. Okay. What is the average salary for a county employee? Average is probably somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, between thirty and forty thousand average. That's pretty good range. Do you have a well, no, you know, we've got 1,200 employees. Well, that, that's part of the problem that we're dealing with here tonight in terms of we, the people, that, that it's all been there the 19th. When was the last time a productivity study was done on, on job description within the, the county office? No, it's been two or three years, about $300,000 hickey. Okay, was that made available to the public? No, no. It wasn't done like we didn't. We did not hire a consultant to do that because it cost three or four hundred thousand. We didn't have the money. So who did it? We we basically cut fifteen percent of middle on the staff. Okay. Three years ago. Okay. Have you now done that again to see whether or not you? No, we have not done that okay. again. So you're going to vote on it? Look, if you have got those questions, make the list. Of no, questions. Let me just ask you two more. All right. All right. And then I will send you a list of questions. Sure. I mean, if you vote on the budget and pass it tonight, right. what's the point? Why not table it and give us a chance to look at it? Because the law says we've got to act by this time of year. Well, then why don't you table it for three days? Have a chance to look at it. Yeah. We have been having budget hearings, public budget hearings, for six months. Now, I'm glad you got interested in it this time. But we've been well, there have been a couple other things going on. Okay, well, I understand that. Including retiring some people on that. Sure, sure. All right, why are you giving across the board raises instead of giving one-time bonuses? Because what you're doing is you're inflating, inflating your entire salary structure by giving raises. I can answer that. My answer to that is this. You're the sheriff. Right. One-time bonus doesn't help the sheriff. Why? 
because they need some assurance that next year they're going to be able to earn a living. Well, what if we can't afford that next year? And next year, we won't give them a raise. Well, but you've already given them a, a but we price can, increase. We can, afford, we can afford it now. Yeah, you can afford it now, but what you're supposed to be looking at is the long-term financial And we can afford it. We have afford it in the future. If this 4%, I guarantee you, because I've done it in the past, if this 4%, I was not assured and feel comfortable that we can continue this rate of pay into the future. Judge, we do have a Okay, okay. come on. We got you know what? You can assure us yeah. that you can do that into the future right. without any tax increase. Right. With what we did tonight, yes, sir. Well, we'll probably visit about that next year. Well, come ahead. Uh, Why is it, if the county salaries are so insufficient, then why do you not have more vacancies in return? Well, we do have the vacancies. And look at how many are at. Mr. White, you're asking me specifics. I'm well, taking. I'm asking specifics. Well, That's because what the budget is based on specifics. And we base it on specifics. You're asking me questions about vacancies that I don't have right here. Well, now, here we go. $9,000 sweep last month. You right. don't know how many employees that is because well, I don't that answer that the top of it. I've got some questions. That was your second question. Okay. Make your other list and we'll get the responses for you. Well, okay. I appreciate the time you're here. Right. I appreciate the work y'all do. But I wish you do it in a more transparent manner. Okay. Mr. Wallace, Kenneth Wallace.